Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs for 14th of March 2023. Let's start with our session. India hosted a commercial dialogue and CEO forum with which particular country? So India US commercial dialogue and CEO forum was recently held in New Delhi. And during the meeting, the minister and the secretary acknowledged that the bilateral goods and the services trade has almost doubled since 2014. And India and US also agreed to launch strategic trade dialogue, which will be led by the foreign secretary of India and under secretary in the Bureau of industry and security in the US Department of Commerce. Fine. So India has hosted this commercial dialogue and CEO forum along with the country USA. Next is Ram Chandra Podal has been elected as the new president of which country? So Nepali Congress senior leader Mr. Ram Chandra Podal has been elected as the new president of the country Nepal. And in the voting which took place recently, he was elected to the post with 33,802 votes. And he is elected by an electoral college that consists of the members of the federal parliament, means the House of Representatives and the National Assembly, along with the Provincial Assembly. Fine. So now onwards, who is the new president of the country Nepal. This is Mr. Ram Chandra Podil. Now, if we see few important and the recent appointments. So, first of all, Group Captain Shaliza Dhami has recently become the first woman to command the front line Indian Air Force Combat Unit. Okay, so the name is Shaliza Dhami. Now, Arun Sabramanyam has recently become the first Indian American judge at the New York court. Fine. Also, Savlon India has recently appointed the player Sachin Tendulkar as the world's very first hand ambassador. This question is important. Also, Indo American woman judge Tejal Mehta has been recently appointed as the first justice of a district court in the US. Who is the new chairperson of Central Electricity Regulatory Commission? This is Jishnu Barua. Okay. Also, Pepsi has recently made Ranveer Singh as its brand ambassador. Okay. And who is the new president of the country? Nigeria, this is Bola Tinubu, right? So these are the important appointments that you have to remember. Next is, which city is the host of the Khelo India Das Kadam tournament? So our youth affairs and the sports minister Anurag Singh Thakur inaugurated the Khelo India Das Kadam tournament in New Delhi recently. And nearly 15,000 Women athletes will participate in the contest in more than 50 cities of the country and the game features 10 sports overall. So objective of the tournament is to provide a platform to the women athletes who were unable to participate in the national or state level competition. Fine. So which city is the host of the Khelo India Daskadam tournament? This is New Delhi. Next is which city is the host of the World Para Athletics Grand Prix in 2023? So answer would be Dubai. And in this event, Ekta Bhyan has qualified for the World Para Athletics after claiming bronze in the discus throw in Dubai World Para Athletics Grand Prix. So Indian team returned home with total seven medals from the Dubai World Para Athletics Grand Prix. And the Indian contingent, which had several youngsters, 
making their international debut in dubai won four silver and three bronze medals fine so which city is the host of this event answer would be dubai now if we see few important host in the conferences so the fifth asian india business summit was recently held at kuala lumpur right and it commemorates the 30 year long engagement between the 10 member blocks and india also the 7th international dharma dhamma conference was recently inaugurated by our president draupadi murmu at bhopal fine also the first b2b global conference and expo on traditional medicine under the shanghai cooperation organization will be hosted by the assam government to promote the traditional medicines at the global level and the event will be held in assam's capital guwahati not only this jaipur district administration is hosting a 3 day international summit on craft and main objective of the summit is to promote odisha craft in rajasthan state fine so these are the important host that can be asked in your examination next is sosa chilensis which was seen in the news recently belongs to which particular species so indo pacific humpback dolphin named as sosua chinensis is a species of humpback dolphin that lives in the coastal waters of the eastern india and the western pacific ocean so it is sometimes known as the chinese white dolphin in some regions and what happened is a group of indo pacific humpback dolphins was spotted recently off the coast of injam bakkam and over 30 to 40 of these dolphins were found 500 meters away from the coast and each dolphin had a unique coloration of pink and gray fine so only thing you have to remember is this is a particular species of dolphin next is which institution along with the united nations women launched a new program called fin empower so bombay stock exchange and united nations women india launched a new program named as fin empower at the bombay stock exchange so it is a one year long joint capacity building program between bombay stock exchange and united nations women to empower women towards financial security fine so which institution has launched this new program answer would be bombay stock exchange you have to tell me when do we observe the international women's day and what was the theme for the year 2023 next is nisar mission is a collaborative project between isro and which space agency the full form of nisar is nasa isro synthetic aperture radar okay nasa isro synthetic aperture radar and this mission is a collaborative project between nasa and isro so aim is to build and launch an earth observation satellite that is equipped with a dual frequency synthetic aperture radar and the satellite will be used to remotely sense the natural phenomena on earth like antarctic cryosphere okay so us air force recently handed over the nisar satellite to the indian space research organization that's why this project was in news fine so this is a collaborative project between isro and nasa and which countries are involved in this obviously india and the country us now can you tell me darpa the full form of which is defense advanced research project agency is currently working on a nuclear fission powered spacecraft along with nasa and uh, what is the name of that spacecraft so the name of that spacecraft is draco okay and darpa is the research and development wing of the us military so it is just like the drdo of india so darpa is set to launch this draco spacecraft so you can be asked that draco spacecraft belongs to which country answer would be usa and what is the full form of draco it is demonstration rocket for agile cislunar operations okay 
So this is to run on the nuclear fission reaction and this is considered as a big leap in the space industry because no nuclear rockets have been launched till 2021. Next is, as per the national education policy, higher educational institutes to obtain the highest level of NAAC accreditation within how many years? What is this NAAC? The National Assessment and Accreditation Council. So it was set up in 1994 and it is responsible for evaluating the quality of higher education institutions in India. So now the national education policy aims to get all higher educational institutes to obtain the highest level of accreditation within the next 15 years. And as of 31st of January 2023, only a small fraction of universities and the colleges have this NAAC accreditation. Fine. So now in next 15 years, they have to get the maximum level of NAAC accreditation. Fine. Next is which space agency has recently proposed the need for a lunar time zone? So European Space Agency has recently proposed the need for a lunar time zone and it is called for an international coordination and consensus to establish this lunar time zone. Actually, moon time zone has been proposed for establishing a universal timekeeping system that will simplify the communication and coordination among the different lunar missions. Fine. So it has been proposed by the European Space Agency. Next is Chabahar port is a seaport located in which country? So this port is a seaport that lies in the southeastern Iran on the Gulf of Oman. Okay. And it is the only oceanic port in the country, Iran. So why it is in news? Because India has announced that it would deliver 20,000 metric tons of wheat to the country, Afghanistan, via this Chabahar port in the country, Iran. And the shipment will be sent in partnership with the United Nations World Food Program. Fine. So this is a seaport that lies in the country, Iran. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with our revision session in which we are doing the current affairs for the month of January. And this is part six in this series. So today we'll be doing the questions from question number 76 up to question number 90. Let's start. What is the estimated GDP growth of India in 2022 to 23 as per the NSO first advance estimate? So the National Statistical Office, which works under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, released the first advance estimates of national income for this financial year and real GDP is estimated at 157.60 lakh crore rupees. And the growth in real GDP is estimated at 7%. And this value was 8.7% in 2021 to 22 means in the last fiscal year. What is the purpose of the Amantran portal, which was recently launched? So as a part of government's e-governance initiative, an online invitation management portal was launched. So the Amantran portal can be used to extend the e-invitations to the guest and online sale of tickets to the general public for witnessing Republic Day and Independence Day event. Fine. So the purpose of Amantran portal is invitation management. Future of Work Industry 4.0 Innovation and 21st Century Skill is one of the themes of which summit. Actually, Union Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports, Mr. Anurag Singh Thakur launched the themes of Y20 Summit logo and website and he had proposed different themes for this event like first is Future of Work, Industry 4.0 Innovation and 21st Century Skill. Then second is, for example, Climate Change and Disaster Risk Reduction. Third is Making Sustainability a Way of Life. The next is Peace Building and Reconciliation etc. Okay, so this was one of the themes of Y20. Kevin McCarthy has been elected as the House Speaker of which country? So recently Kevin McCarthy was elected as the House Speaker in the country USA. 
which Indian city is the host of the International Kite Festival 2023. So this festival was recently commenced in the city Ahmedabad, state is Gujarat. And it was organized by the Gujarat Tourism on the G20 theme of One Earth, One Family, One Future. Next is, which city is the host of the India-US Trade Policy Forum meeting in 2023? So Union Commerce Minister Piyush Goel is visiting New York and Washington DC to participate in this India-US Trade Policy Forum. Here correct answer would be Washington DC. Likani map which was granted approval by the US FDA is used to treat which disease? So US Food and Drug Administration granted accelerated approval for the Alzheimer's disease drug named as Likani map. So it is the cure of Alzheimer's disease. Which state won the UN Habitats World Habitat Awards 2023 for Jug Mission? So Odisha has won this particular award for Jug Mission Initiative of the state. And this mission is the world's largest land tilting and slum upgrading program, which aims at empowering the lives of slum dwellers. Fine. Next is which institution launched the portal for mapping of industrial units and the laboratories? So on the 76th Foundation Day of Bureau of Indian Standard, the portal for mapping of industrial unit and laboratories was launched. Answer would be Bureau of Indian Standard. Which organization publishes the Food Price Index? This index is published by United Nations Agency, Food and Agricultural Organization. And with this, they track the monthly international prices of cereals, vegetable, oil, dairy, meat, and sugar. Fine. Right? Next is, which city announced to launch a new mobility card to pay fares electronically on the buses and the metros. This is Delhi government. Delhi government is set to launch a new mobility card for commuters to pay fares electronically on both buses and the metro. And Delhi Transport Department issued a notice inviting a tender for the project. 197 Communication is the parent entity of which financial service company. So this is the parent entity of the company Paytm. Headquarter lies in Noida. So recently Paytm Payment Bank has appointed Mr. Surinder Chavla as the MD and CEO after getting the approval from Reserve Bank of India. Next is which institution announced to issue the sovereign green bonds? Answer would be Reserve Bank of India. Which neighboring country of India is set to dispatch over 159 containers of ammunition to the country Ukraine? This is Pakistan country. So Pakistan has decided to dispatch 159 containers of ammunition, including the projectiles and the primers to the country Ukraine through a port that lies in Poland country. Kangla Nong Pok Thong, Eastern Gate of the Kangla Fort has been inaugurated in which Indian state? So it lies in Manipur state. And the Chief Minister of Manipur, N. Birin Singh, handed over and dedicated this Kangla Nongpok Thong, which is an eastern gate of the historic Kangla Fort in Imphal to the people of the state. So it was constructed through Imphal Smart City Limited as the funding agency. Fine. So it lies in the state of Manipur. So these are the next 15 questions from the month of January and tomorrow we'll continue it from here. That means we'll cover the question from 91 up to question number 105. And now let's start with our category wise revision current affairs in which today we are doing the ranks and indices topic. First question is, which state or the union territory was ranked at the top position in the social progress index? So the state that has topped the social progress index is Puducherry. Actually, it is union territory. Then second is Lakshadweep in this and the third is Goa. Okay. And if we talk about the district, so first was Shimla in this. Shimla lies in Himachal Pradesh. Second is Sulan. Sulan is also from Himachal Pradesh and the third is Azol. Azol lies in Mizoram state. Okay. What is the rank of India in the Arthon Capital Passport Index 2022? Answer is 87. India's rank was 87 and UAE has the strongest passport in the world as per this index. Also, if you talk about Hinle Passport Index 2023, then Japan was at the first 
position and uh, at second two countries were there singapore and south korea okay what was the india's rank in this india was ranked at 85th position which cities are ranked at the top of the economic intelligence unit releases cost of living index 2022 these two cities are new york and the singapore which indian city is placed at 22nd rank in the prime global cities index q3 2022 so three indian cities were featured in this ranking which are these mumbai bangalore and new delhi the rank of mumbai was 22nd New Delhi was ranked at 36th position and Bangalore was ranked at 27th place which is the only indian educational institution among top 50 in the global university employability rankings by times higher education this is iit delhi iit delhi was the only educational institute that was featured in the top 50 list in the global university employability rankings that is released by the times higher education then two other institutes that were in this list are indian institute of science bangalore the rank of which was 58 and the third was iit bombay its rank was 72 which institution is ranked at the top spot from india in the qs asia university ranking this is iit bombay and overall the, the rank of iit bombay was 40th at second it was iisc bangalore its rank was 53 and at third there is iit madras the rank of which was 59 which is the only indian company in the top 100 rank of forbes world's best employer rankings 2022 this company is reliance industries it is the only indian company that was featured in the top 100 rank of the forbes world's best employer ranking 2022 what is the rank of india in the wipo global innovation index 2022 answer would be 40th okay which countries were at the top switzerland was at the top second was us and the third was sweden and the headquarters of the wipo lies in geneva switzerland what is the rank of india in the global crypto adoption index 2022 answer is fourth india's rank was fourth and which country was at the first it was vietnam fine so these are the important ranks and indices that we have to remember and they can appear in your exam as well So tomorrow we'll be doing the topic days and themes. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this means hatsana signing off